Well, hi everybody, welcome back to the Living Room Series. We're so glad that you've joined us. Um, I've been thinking lately a lot about gratitude and the things that I'm, I'm grateful for, and there's so many of them, but one of the things that I'm really grateful for in my life is that I had the chance to grow up with, basically with these unity principles. So these truths have become very ingrained in the way I live my life. My parents found unity when I was about 11, so I had the opportunity to go through all the youth program from the teen years and through the youth of unity, and now 50 years later or so, I'm still finding them very relevant and very inspiring to me. And part of the reason I've stayed with unity all these years is that it's practical. It gives us tools and, and allows us to have the means to walk through life with ease, with grace, with peace, with joy. We have the choice and we have the tools to help us as we go forward. And so we, we learn these uh, five basic unity principles at Unity Spiritual Center every week. And um, in this living room series, I've been talking about them as well, but that has been the foundation for me. And um, hopefully you're finding some relevance in those basics as well. So just, uh, we talk each week about those five basics, but my favorite and the one I know to be my go-to is the first one. There's one presence, one power in the universe in my life. God, the good. If I just know that one, that's everything. The rest help me along the way. But when I know that one, it's enough. So Aaron McGoggin wrote a song that's kind of been our theme song. It starts, God is good. principles that uh, we talk about each week in our series and that we talk about in unity. I hope they are tools that are helpful to you too. But about that practice, uh, for many years now I've been very aware of my thoughts, that third unity principle that our thoughts are powerful and, and I'll picture in the way that we experience the world. And so I've been really clear for a long time that it's my choice what I'm going to think about, what I'm going to focus on, what I'm going to give air time to in my world and in my life, and that that is everything. It is a choice. Uh, every day in our 8 a.m. prayer call, Monday through Friday, Joanne invites us to think about what, are, what inspiration comes from that prayer time. Today, I'm willing to be. What am I willing to to be and to express, and it is a choice. So once you know that, it's a powerful tool. Once you get that, it's a choice. So there's a song that Karen Drucker wrote, Today I Choose. And Karen Drucker's a great friend of Unity Spiritual Center, and I'm really excited that she's gonna be our special guest musician this coming Sunday at 11 a.m. If you go to unityspiritualcenter.com, you'll be able to access our um, our live stream and uh, Karen will be part of the service so she's written this great song and um, the middle part of this is the part that 
really rings for me. Whatever I choose is how my day's going to be. Choose, claim what I want, because it's all up to me. So if you can remember that part, you've got a really powerful tool to turn anything around. If you lose your way, if you find yourself a little off track, just you can bring yourself back to that. So what do I want my day to be? I choose. What do I want to feel today? I get to choose. I can choose gratitude. I can choose to be happy, to be peaceful, to be loving, to be joyful. And like Joanne asks us, what do I want to be today? I choose. I choose. while I'm walking so not only is that a great affirmation song for when you're walking but it's 130 beats a minute so it's a really good cardio song too so you can get in your affirmation time and your cardio time all at the same time and you can choose and you're going to come back away from that experience feeling ready for a great day. And again, thinking for me about all the things I'm grateful for, uh, it, it's easy to lose sight of that during all the 
chaotic, crazy times, and, and it can be kind of stressful, it can be kind of unsettling, all the things that we're going through, and I know I go in and out of it. I go in and out of feeling prepared, feeling ready, feeling inspired, feeling centered, and then um, it, I fall out of it quickly. But again, no, growing up in unity, knowing these principles, practicing, 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 it's fairly easy to come back, and gratitude is one of the ways that brings you right back. So I've been thinking about all the things that I am grateful for. And so there's a song we, we used to sing a while ago. We haven't sung it for a while, but we used to sing it quite a bit by Jennifer Farron called The Abundance Blessing. And um, it's a fun song. We will be doing it again for sure when we come back to Unity Hall. But I give thanks for the abundance in my life. And then I give thanks for the bounty and the treasure in my life. And she says, I give thanks for the abundance as spirit flows among us. So this is a song I hope, um, I hope you know that you can print out lyrics for these Living Room series. If you go to our website and you're not aware of that, you can find the lyrics to each of these series so you can sing along. So give it a try, the abundance blessing. You got the, everything set up, Jerry? All set. All right, here we go. <laughs> to find so I hope that will be inspiring for you as well another great song that Karen Drucker has written that we've done many times it's called I am so blessed and it's inspired by Reverend Mark Vieira and uh, this is one that we will just take into a moment just a pause of, of a short meditation and during this time I'm just going to invite you to think about what is it that you are feeling grateful for in this moment? Because despite what's going on in the world, we are right in this very moment. Safe and okay, we're doing well. God is here. And so whatever it is that you can feel grateful for, let it wash over you. Let it overcome your whole being to the point where it takes your breath away almost. You're so grateful. This is a powerful song. I'm going to get in the right key here. This is going to be easier to sing. I am 
to be a blessing to others. I can take that out into the world and shine my light. I choose, today I choose to be loving. Today I choose to be a blessing. how easy it is to find our way back to this place. These five basics will bring us back every time. I'm so grateful for the knowing that God is, that I am. God. Amen.
So anytime I feel a little, little off kilter, then one of the first places I go is to question my thoughts. What am I choosing right now? And it's very quick and easy to choose something different and to catch myself and bring myself right back. That is the, the value and the joy and the inspiration for me in these truths and these principles is that it isn't always easy, but it's simple. It's very simple. If you do the work, if you practice, if you just don't, take, don't have it a, like a plaque on the wall or like a degree, these five basics, but you live into them, you live them and breathe them and you allow them to guide you you will find that your life is a blessing. You'll be able to see that blessing. Music, of course, is a, is a way that brings me right back to center. Um, and nature is another one. Whatever it is for you that brings you back into that feeling of gratitude, um, look for it. Look for it and practice that this, this week. And one of the things for me that helps me as I get a little bit too worried about what's going on in the world is to just watch the wrens that are building a nest in a little wren house that we have or watching the orioles eating jelly from the feeder or uh, a juvenile red-headed woodpecker that comes to our, our feeder. So watching nature or just seeing a sliver of the moon at night or just being up early in the day and seeing the dew on the grass and the flowers and watching all the beautiful flowers that we have opening in their perfect way. So that brings me so much back to center that what a wonderful world, what a wonderful world we live in. So tonight I want to end with what I know is many of uh, your favorites, what a wonderful world. And I know you're familiar with this, so I hope you're going to sing along. ready here so I'm in the right key, the right sound. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. If I can remember that all the time, then I will feel peaceful and joyful. <laughs>
because you're in it. That makes it wonderful for me. And uh, we're so grateful to have our Unity community at, at Unity Spiritual Center. We're very connected, and there's so many ways that we have found to stay connected. And that joy that it brings to us to just be part of the Unity family is one of our great blessings that we're very, very grateful for. So I hope that you can take these ideas and find what is yours to do. How can you go out and be a blessing in the world? And um, I hope that we'll be able to be together physically in community soon. But until that time, I'm holding you in consciousness and seeing good for you. Have a great week.